On this episode of Just My Five Cents, Donald Trump has beef with Ted Cruz. Two teens commit suicide in Glendale, Arizona. And Dr. Dre has his own original Apple TV show. That's Just My Five Cents, and I'm out. Donald Trump has beef with Ted Cruz. Keep attacking in a lawsuit is coming. Was the warning that Trump gave Cruz today. How does this idiot GOP front run? It all started when Cruz ran some ads in New Hampshire attacking Trump's support of eminent domain. That's when the government can force sale of private property for public use. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't that just legal robbery? Personally, I think Trump is just mad because he got caught being a bully. Check this out. In the ads, there's a woman that Trump had it out with legally a few years ago. This jackass wanted to build a parking lot on the property that the woman's house was on. Why? To expand one of his casinos. <laughs> There's a woman that Trump had it out with legally Wait a minute. years ago. Let's run that back this one more time. This jackass wanted to build a parking lot on the property that the woman's house was on. Why? To expand one of his casinos. <laughs> he likes to refer to eminent domain as a helpful tool in order to expand both public and private businesses. I can see it now. If this fool becomes president, the homeless rate will skyrocket. Oh, but you can have a business though. <laughs> Now, Cruz wants to run an ad on Saturday Night Live. Oh, Trump love hearing that. Now his question is Cruz's citizenship because Cruz was born in Canada. Sound familiar? Tell me something. Why is it every time Trump knows he's dead ass wrong, he keeps going to the same... Yes, arguments. Doesn't he know he just make himself look like a jackass? Here's what Trump tweeted yesterday. If Cruz doesn't clean up his act, cheating and doing negative ads, I have standing to sue him for not being a natural born citizen. Is he serious? What planet? Does Trump live on? Two teen girls committed suicide in Glendale, Arizona. Both girls were 15 years old. They died yesterday at their high school. Police say they were found with a gun beside them. Tracy Greenan, the ever so intelligent spokeswoman, that the Glendale police have chosen to represent them has reported that it is too early to determine if the incident at Independence High involved a suicide. But the police are not seeking a suspect in the shooting, at, and the school and surrounding community face no threat. Hmm, let's see. There was a gun. Beside the two girls, there was no sign of a struggle reported, and the school and community is in no danger, and there's no suspect being searched for. And it's too soon to determine whether this is a suicide. <laughs> Okay.
Good to know Barney Spike is on the job. In the hot stage, they, they, they just want these girls' loved ones to play along while they what, lollygag, play around with this case. Really? Reading reported rushing to, to, to the school Friday morning after gunshots had been reported. The two girls were found under a covered piano, both with a single gunshot wound and the gun beside them. See, this is why people don't like cops. This is clearly a suicide, but they're going to drag this case out and just continue this family's grieving process. What's the point? After this... After the shooting, the school was placed on lockdown. Parents waited for the lockdown to be over at a nearby Walmart. Meanwhile, students were making updates on social media from their phones. Now, we've all heard older people ask the question, why do young people these days need phones? This is why. So, stop judging your children for getting phones for your grandchildren and be happy that these children were able to put their family's minds at ease. Why? Because they have phones. Now, don't you ask that dumbass question no more. Jasmine Molina, a 15-year-old student, was quoted saying, I never thought it would happen here. This tells me that it could happen anywhere at any school, even if it's a good school. Who are this child's parents, and what are they teaching her? You know what, sometimes I just want to smack the hell out of people with money. Like, seriously, the... Do they teach her that shootings only happen, like, at trailer parks and in the hood? Really? Anyway. Dr. Dre gets the first original Apple TV show. Now, you know Dre is all about his bread, right? He sold Beats Music to Apple almost two years ago for three billion dollars. That was billion with a B. For three I don't think y'all heard me. That was billion with a B. Now he's going to star and produce the original six episode series called Vital Signs. It's supposed to be a semi autobiographical. And. It's supposed to be something that's nothing for the kids to watch or the faint of heart. I might just get Apple TV just so I can see it. This sounds like it's going to be good. And it's just my five cents. Peace. I'm out.